this is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden hosted a Halloween event on Monday at the White House, which featured a Hallow Read theme where children received books. Meanwhile, at Mar-a-Lago, former President Trump also gave trick-or-treaters some reading material. <laughs> President Biden hosted a Halloween trick-or-treat event on Monday at the White House, and it was going pretty great until Commander Ada Minion. <laughs> Bit a minion, probably even better. Because now the joke is he ate a kid. President Biden reportedly became increasingly concerned about artificial intelligence after watching the new Mission Impossible movie, and he must have done a movie marathon because tomorrow night he's giving a primetime address about sandworms. <laughs> they're real big folks, and they're real hungry. <laughs> Ahead of Donald Trump Jr.'s testimony in the Trump Organization's ongoing civil fraud trial, former President Trump attacked the judge in an early morning post today on Truth Social and warned him to, quote, leave my children alone, adding, you know, like I did. <laughs> President Biden traveled today to a family farm in Minnesota, said Kamala Harris, go on, boy, you're free. <laughs> Get, go on. <laughs> Republican presidential hopeful Chris Christie said in a new interview that former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is Immunity deal with federal prosecutors means former President Trump is going to be convicted and added, quote, it's over. And I take his word for it because historically, it takes Chris Christie a long time to admit when something's over. <laughs> In a new podcast interview, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was asked if the cowboy boots he is often photographed wearing have heels. And he would have walked straight out of that interview if his arches weren't killing him. <laughs> The last operating prison ship in the country is set to close this week. Well, you had a good run. <laughs> the USDA today began a raccoon vaccination campaign in Nebraska, except for one who's doing his own research. football field. <laughs> and finally, authorities in Florida have warned residents about a white truck impersonating a law enforcement vehicle that has a decal that says booty patrol. But don't worry, the FBI is investigating. <laughs> and that was the monologue, everybody.